you have six delicious chocolate bars. And naturally, your friends all want some. Uh, your friends say a half a bar is not enough. You think a full bar is too much, so you guys settle on two-thirds. So the question is, how many two-thirds are in six? Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about dividing fractions. Okay, so the question was, how many two-thirds are in six? You're going to break these chocolate bars into two-thirds of a bar uh, to give your friends. So let's see. Well, we know the first bar. I can break it into two-thirds there. So that's one two-thirds. Well, then... If that's two-thirds, this that means this is one-third, so I just need one-third from this, and that will make, I'll do red, that together with this chunk, that one-third, will make two two-thirds. This is two-thirds left here, that's another one, that's three. Make two-thirds out of here, that's four. If that's two-thirds, that means that's one-third left in there. So that means over here, I need another one-third. So there's the one-third from here. So that one-third plus this would be, I'll write it here, would be five two-thirds. Here's another one. That's six. That would be seven. We just need a one-third here. So this part and that part becomes 8. And we've got finally, there is our ninth two-third chunk of a candy bar. Or, uh, sorry, chocolate bar. So the question, how many two-thirds are in 6? And the answer is 9. Now, we've got to think, what did we actually do here? We had six candy bars, and we broke them into groups of two-thirds. Well, we know when we're grouping things, when we have a whole bunch of stuff and we break them into groups, we're dividing. So this problem, we can write as six, starting with six, six chocolate bars, dividing them into groups of two-thirds. And we just found... But that is equal to 9. Let's look at some more examples and figure out why that is. All right, let's see if we can explain dividing with fractions a little, a little bit more. Uh, we've got division on this side in this column, and we've got multiplication in this side. Notice we always start with an 8 on both columns. Uh, and also notice the difference here. We're dividing by 4, we're multiplying by a fourth. Dividing by 2, multiplying by a half. 1 and 1, 1 half and 2. So you can notice that from here to here, uh, it gets switched. It gets flipped upside down. Uh, well, let's go through it and see what we get. Well, 8 divided by 4, we know. That's 2. Uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 1 is 8. Now, this is the tricky part. We're not sure here, dividing. Uh, if I wanted to do it just like we did the, the chocolate bars, Maybe I've got eight chocolate bars, and this time I'm putting them in groups of a half. Okay. How many halves would you get? Well, in the first chocolate bar, you'd have two halves. In the second, you had another two. The third, another two, and so on and so on and so on. So you would end up getting 16. Same thing here. Well, what if we divided them in groups of one-fourth? The first bar would have four groups of one-fourth. The second bar, another four and then another four, and another four, you end up having 32 groups of one-fourth. Uh, now let's go here, the multiplication. Eight times one-fourth. Well, if you watched the previous video, you know multiplying fractions. I can simplify this. That would become one. That would become two. So it's just two times one is two. Eight times one-half, same thing. One, that would become four. 
is 4. 8 times 1 is just 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 4 is 32. Okay. So, do you notice something interesting? All the answers are exactly the same. And if we want to, if you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, let's see, why is that? Uh, if you notice, dividing by 4 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 fourth. Dividing by 2, same thing as multiplying by 1 half. Dividing by 1, same thing as multiplying by 1. Dividing by 1 half, same thing as multiplying by 2. Okay, so dividing by a fraction, okay, let's write this down. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Okay. Now we haven't talked about what a reciprocal is, and we'll get to that in a second, but make sure you have this written down. Let's talk about reciprocals real quick. Uh, two numbers are reciprocals if their product is one. So for example, if you are thinking, well, what's one half of two? One half of two, you know that that's just one, which means one half and two are reciprocals. One way to find a, num a number's reciprocal is to just flip it. Make sure, so if you're wondering, well, what's the reciprocal of three-fourths? You just switch it. You just flip it over, and that would be 4 over 3. And we could check by multiplying. Well, 4 and 4, 3 and 3, those would all simplify, and you would just get 1. So 3 fourths and 4 thirds are reciprocals. If you have a whole number, make sure you write it as a fraction. That's going to help. So, for example, if you're talking about 5 uh, and you're wondering what its reciprocal is, make that over 1. M make it look like a fraction, and then you know, okay, I just flip it. So 5 times 1 fifth. Those 5s would simplify, and you would get 1. So 5 and 1 fifth are reciprocals. Okay. Let's do an example. All right, example number 1. Write the reciprocal of the number. So what is the reciprocal of 3 fifths? Well, like I said, all you have to do, if it's written as a fraction, you just flip it. So the reciprocal of 3 fifths is 5 thirds. Okay. And if we wanted to check, if we multiply those together, our product would be 1, which means they are reciprocals. If you want to try the other two on your own, go for it. Pause the video and try them on your own. Uh, what's the reciprocal of 9 fifths? Same thing, just flip it. That would be 5 over 9. Now, num letter C, the reciprocal of 2, what we want to do when we have whole numbers is to write it as a fraction first. So I'm going to put that over 1. 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2. We haven't changed anything. And then it's much easier. The reciprocal, if you flip it, is just 1 half. Okay. Here's some to try on your own. All right, example number two, find one-sixth divided by two-thirds. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, we said dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. Or one way to simplify that is keep, change, flip. So one-sixth doesn't change. I keep it. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of two-thirds? Well, that's three halves. Okay. We kept, keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. Uh, now, this is just a simple multi multiplying fractions problem. Always, always, always try to simplify first. Uh, 3 and 6 have a common factor of 3, so that becomes 1, that becomes 2, multiply straight across, and I get 1 fourth. 
Let's try another example. All right, here's our last example. A board is 15 feet long. How many three-fourths of a foot pieces can you cut from the board? Uh, this is very similar to the chocolate bar problem. Um, hopefully you, you recognize that this is division. I have 15 feet of a uh, 15 foot long board. I'm putting it in groups of three fourths. How many groups can I make? That's essentially what we're asking. Uh, so that's division, right? I'm starting with 15. I'm going to divide that by three fourths, putting it in groups of three fourths. So here we go. Dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 3 fourths? 4 over 3. And remember, keep, change, flip. Okay. Now, with this, I want to write this as a fraction. That's going to help kind of keep things a little more organized, I think. So I'm going to put that over 1. And always, always, always try to simplify before you multiply. Hopefully you notice 15 and 3 have a common factor of 3. That becomes 1. That becomes 5. And now it's very simple. Multiply straight across and I get 20 over 1, which is the same thing as 20. So my answer, how many pieces can I make? I can make 20 pieces. Now you'll notice that the value increased, right? We started with 15 divided by 3 fourths and we ended up with 20. That's a little confusing at, at the start because when you think division, you think you start with a bunch of things, you divide them into groups and you get a number that's less than what you started with. But now you've got to think I'm dividing by a proper fraction. Uh, this is less than 1. So instead of groups of, of whole numbers, now my group is so small, I get many groups. Okay, um, So don't worry about that. Um, here's some more to try on your own. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you liked the video, please subscribe.